All right. What's down here? Spoopy down here. All right, we're just gonna go now. Thanks. this secret secret piece of paper to all foundation personnel it has come to my attention that members of our exploration teams have been relieving themselves of their god-given liquids in the chasm of the foundation <laughs> all for earlier orders all personnel currently serving in the foundation must expel fluids urinate, do their business exclusively into the correctly colored and labeled vials provided by research personnel to do otherwise disrupts the ongoing study of the, of the foundation and demonstrates a profound disrespect not only for the board and its oldest house, but also for the bureau you are so proudly serve. If I discover firsthand any agents treating the oblivion as their personal lavatory, they will be forced to go down there and personally clean up their mess. Oh god. Stop peeing. Oh! Why did that happen? That scared me. God! Jesus! Was that in entirely necessary? I'm surprised I survived, to be honest. God, get me out of here. Hidden area in my ass. Hidden dangers is what it is. Is that Emily? The heck? What are you doing down here, Emily? Right? Like I've never seen you anywhere else. Me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I did it. No, that's right. You didn't. But then What? I remember you needing me to come here and you What? Told me how to get in. Let's just talk about the synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. She really does. The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world. I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, 
It will consume the entire Bureau. And possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. The Borg told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the Astro Plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Cool. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Did you notice all the Bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. Yep. You think Darling knew about this? I'd put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down there. Oh yeah, tell me about the minerals. They insist on maintaining a certain form. Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape. Or... I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. We'll do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. Of course. <laughs> Pope's collection. Wait, do we have like multiple missions now? Yes. Okay. Jesse, you're back. So uh. you find anything noteworthy? The original bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. <laughs> but I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. Except for bureau stuff from the 60s. The one you found is different than mine. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. Ooh. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? Yeah, I absolutely do. <laughs> I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. Of course. From what I gather, there is a... Yeah, yeah, I was looking at that. ...the warehouse with a special lab that required five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. <laughs> I'm going to assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darwin Bingo says. bango. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. Okay. So I found almost all of them. Oops. Are you kidding me? They just can never stay out of the way, can they?
cool. Perfect. Control point. I'm gonna upgrade. I got ten. Holy crap. Alright, I, I wonder where that last ID card is. I wonder if it's... Aha! I was going to say, I wonder if it's in here. And it is! There it is. This ID card was for an excavation engineer. Why did so many people abandon their cards down here? Maybe they got snatched. Dr. Ash, as chief... Excavation officer, it's my job to support the research team, so I got you your machine for that ridiculous sand research project. However, it's also my responsibility to ensure the safety of my crew. Do you know how many trips it took to get an entire bulldozer down here piece by piece? And do you know how many of my guys we lost in those trips? Here's a hint. Here's a hint. Too fucking many. Which brings me to my point. I'm writing you today because of this request form that just landed on my desk. Apparently you want a lightweight one or two man military grade helicopter for the purpose of surveying the vast expanse of columns by air? <laughs> I bet you didn't even stop to wonder how much time, money, effort, and blood this toy would cost us. Well, no, sir. I'm sorry, but I will not subject my men to another month of marching through the death traps upstairs. For Christ's sake, these people have families, not that they ever get to see them anymore. Request denied. Ooh. Oh. Is this the puzzle? Okay, hang on. Let me look at the rest of the room. It just shows me senior cartographer. Alright, so... We can only use one card. Which is senior cartographer. So which station would he be at? That looks like military. <clears throat> right here. I'm assuming. Well, now what? Maybe. From the layer of dust on this place, nobody swept here in years. Not even Ati. No way he'd stand for this. There's an elevator which I'm sure is super safe, in a space in each terminal for an ID card. Which card goes where? Well, it's only letting me use one card. Do I only have one card? Of course not. It says that maybe Emily took them? Which is absurd. Let's teleport to her. Ew. 
Emily, did you take my cards? The rangers found a section of the containment sector in the caves. No house shifts occur down here. Strange. Did we talk about this? How did the Hiss get into the foundation? Same way we did, I imagine. But you need to remember that the Hiss are the embodiment of persistence. Their nature seems to be one of force, to find every possible vulnerability and exploit it. Their only goal is consumption. I'm sure there's plenty of goodies for them down here. The nail, for instance. If the Hiss could corrupt the nail, I'm sure they would have by now. It must not interest them in its broken state. Mm. It could be distracted by the numerous unknown paranormal materials I'm sure are lying around. These are the roots of the oldest house. The Hiss will find plenty of ways to make trouble. They're pretty good at that. So you've never heard of the Foundation, huh? I've never even seen the name referenced. Clearly it's highly classified, but for what reason? The problem with these kinds of closed off hidden areas is that they were likely sealed for good reason. But now no one is left to tell us what that reason was. Right, I wish Marshall told us. Why the Bureau would hide something like this? I only know what I've observed. This place is spatially rigid, which means it doesn't shift like the rest of the oldest house. Before you ask why that is, I have to admit that I'm clueless. Mm. There's some signal interfering with my equipment, making it hard to get a clear reading. The nail. Being emitted from the floor. Maybe I should have brought a jackhammer. The astral plane is already taking chunks out of this place, Emily. Let's not add to it. <laughs> so let me get this straight. The astral plane is bleeding into the foundation. Correct. And that's happening because the nail is damaged. I'd say it's a bit more than damaged, but yes, that is my understanding. So what's the connection between the nail and the astral plane? It's a good question. See, I always pictured objects of power as strings between our plane and the astral. If the nail has a similar relationship, then maybe it's more accurate to think of it like plumbing. Plumbing? Now that the nail is busted, sewage is gushing everywhere. Okay, that, that makes sense. Metaphor. Well, no, but it makes sense. I get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. Okay, so she didn't take my key cards. Maybe it's glitched. Because I picked them all up. Pretty sure. Hmm. Maybe there's other places to put them? I couldn't imagine where. I'm pretty sure it's only in there. Like, hello? I know I'm not stupid. A physicist would probably have instruments or something for physics. I mean, yeah, but I don't have the cards. It has to be a glitch. What is that noise? Oh, it's just you. Hello? Like, mind your business. I'm busy. I wonder if they took them away from me. And I have to refine them, which I don't remember where they were. Oh yes, the shower, please. <laughs> oh, they did take them from me. 
What? That's booty. I don't remember where they all were. Yeah, I was like, I think there was one up here. Um... Okay, how many is that? Uh, one, two, three, four. I think the last one's in a window somewhere. If I remember that correctly, I think it's in the warehouse itself. Mm, right here. That's how we get up there. That's not what I meant to do. No, what the heck? My button released. Without my say so. Can you just get me up there? Okay, is that all of them? I wish there was a way... I wish there was a way to let us know that we got them all or not. What's this one? This would be like the... The head of research, probably. Right here. This is Chief's... One of the cards was for an excavation engineer. I wonder which console was theirs. This one? This is the cartographer. This has to be security. What's this? It worked. Oh, now I did it right. Get on a rickety elevator that goes who knows how far down. <laughs> Basement lab. Oh gosh. Still, this lab's way tinier than any of the What the heck is that? How's these things? not expect to fight immediately when I got here. I'm stuck. Come on. Where's the last dude? Where is he? What does this do? 
I don't want to do that right now. Really? Am I tripping? Why would they need such a heavy door down here? What's in here? A laser beam. Excuse me. this do? Oh. Okay. Gently turned it. Well. I guess that dude was kept down here? This looks like a nail. Only mini. It's like a little mini nail. What's this about? Duck. What? Is this in some kind of code? I can't write a word of it. I should take this back to Emily and tell her I got into Ash's secret lab. Ooh. What's this one? Northmore Final Warning? Through Dr. Theodore Ash Jr., as director of the Federal Bureau of Control and chosen representative. Alliance and benefactor of the greater authority of the board. I demand your immediate withdrawal from the foundation. What? Prior memos issued broadly to foundation staff called for swift reassignment of all personnel to the upper levels of the house. All staff complied except you. This demonstrates a lack of respect for my office and the board itself. Excuse me. This is their house and we are their guests. We should conduct ourselves accordingly. Normally, such insubordination would be grounds for dismissal, but... Out of respect for your late father, consider this instead my final warning. The board and director, Ash, chose me as successor to the office, and no amount of petulance will change that. Indeed, your actions seem to, to suggest you know better than myself, and by extension, better than the board. Permit, permit me to assure you that this is not possible. Sincerely, Northmore. Oh my goodness. Okay. Guess to Emily we go. See if she can decode this. I found Ash's secret lab. Excellent. Please tell me everything. Spare no details. Uh, well, there was another cave. The walls were covered in paintings of eyeballs. <laughs> The research seemed dedicated to studying a kind of smaller version of the nail. 
It looked like the same material as the one up here, but just a different shape. Well, are you sure you didn't see any functioning prototypes? Or at least some schematics? I mean, Dr. Ash was a very accomplished engineer. None. Sorry. I did find this handwritten note. Wow. I had terrible handwriting. <laughs> meet your heroes, right? It looks like a transcribed conversation between Ash and someone named F. F. Ooh. Oh, this is juicy. This will take me days to parse out. Days? Weeks. Oh. Have you ever thought about taking a vacation, Emily? Are you kidding? This is my vacation, Jesse. Oh. Well, that's good. Well, she has more. The rangers have tapped into an old radio network they found around the foundation. So if you need backup, just call them at one of the stations. Yeah. We've been doing that I should get back throughout the game. I guess because the DLC was added. Won't stop itself. Oh. Is there anything else? Crystals, cave paintings, rust-filled sand. This place is a research gold mine. <laughs> I should get back out there. Okay. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. All right. So we need to reach research site Gamma. That's that's this. Which is this way, which we can break now. Well, Gamma's down there, but the canyon rim's this way, apparently. me. <laughs> also infuriated me. I was so close to that box. Unless that's the box that fell with us. Oh, we can just go back. Alright, alright. Yeah, well, we're gonna, we're just gonna walk around so we can get this box. Down we go. Alright. Let's see what we can do. What we're doing here. Astral collision. Not good. That's the cave sand. Looks like the astral bleed goes both ways. Well, that's still not good, though. What's the snow? <sighs> Dear science, there's a person in my pet salamander. He has human eyes. Why doesn't anyone else see him? What? I think it's like werewolves, but with every animal. Wear dogs, wear cats, wear otters, wear butterflies, wear everything. There are people inside and they can't get out. They're stuck in the animal body. It's not all animals, but it can be any animal. My parents don't believe me. Maybe this has happened before. I thought you would know. What the frick, John? What the heck? He's psycho. Ah, we don't want level three anyway. Um, Yeah, bigger problems.
There's lots of boxes here. Alright, what's this? Oh, well, yeah, the, the lucky cat. Are there more of them? Is that a bathroom? Oh, well, I just killed myself. Rip. Rip. Oh, of course it resets me over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Stop touching that. Jesus. <laughs> it's like, could I for one second get to where I want to go? Because apparently not. Oh. Oh, these square things go in those other things. Oh. I understand. I guess it did this over here too, but I didn't, um... I didn't catch on. Oh, we could have also broken all this. Man, maybe I should do something like buy the book. Oh. That's funny. No, why do I keep doing this? <laughs> this is what I get for going back and trying to do it right. Oh, it just teleported me here. Cool. There's little healy things. Where's the triangle, though? It's not here. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we already put the block in that one. I could barely get up there. A control point? What? This is so weird. Let's get it. Alright, hang on. We got some ability points to spend. Got a recording here. Reminder, the Bureau does not have windows. If you notice a window, immediately close your eyes and make your way to the nearest safe room. You are permitted to fashion a blindfold from an arch on the table. Any resulting lapse in dress code will be excused. Thank you. Interesting. The Bureau does not have windows. That's true, I haven't seen any. At least that look out into the real world. What's happening right here? What's happening? Anyway. It's only one box. Left or right? Let's go 
left. So I say that didn't sound very good. <gasps> it took that one away. Oh, okay. Well, we can't go that way now. We have chosen. This is a fighting arena. Oh, jeez. I forgot which button was the melee. Oh, that's right. These dudes are fighting each other as well. Oh, do we choose again? Or do we do both? Oh jeez, I thought I fell. There's stairs leading there. Did I- was there more options than I saw? Doesn't matter now, I guess. We're going. kind of cool. Goodness. What's happening? Wow. You know, those noises when they make this, the platforms appear don't sound good to me. They sound very bad. doing this for? I wonder. Ugh. Um, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. I was trying to change my gun to the grip. I break? I think so. Come on. No! 
Just kill myself, please. How many times am I gonna fall to my death in this dang place? Maybe the grip wasn't best choice. Maybe I just need to float out there and do it. Oh my gosh, are you serious? More control points too? What the heck are we doing? Oh, what the? Whoa, I hopped. Mario over here. attacking each other. Cool. I missed? Oh my god. No. We done here? It's a three level. Another control point. Oh, what's this one doing? Ah! Making other platforms. Gotta go over there now. Is there anything else over here before I go? Do I float back down there and go around now? Because technically I probably could just float there. I think that's our next objective. Do not want to deal with those dudes that melee. Where's this go? Does that go anywhere? Ah! That's, that's, not, that's not what I wanted. 
cool. Nothing else over here? No notes or anything? Cool. Alright. Oh, it glitched. It glitched his power right there. Alright, where does this go? noise. Okay, there's two. I like that very light violet color we would want to pick up. All right, let's get to the top of this tower, I suppose. a biggie. Something we can't solve though, or break at least. Another control point? It's just a random spot too. 